and welcome to Romance Book Monsters. I am Katie Boom, and this is my co-host Lollipop. How's it hey. going? I'm doing good. You know, it's it's uh, October is right around the corner. Halloween, pumpkins, pumpkin spice lattes is taking over. I've never had a pumpkin spiced anything. I should try it this season. I had some pumpkin spice cookie mix that I got from Trader Joe's. And you know, I love me some Trader Joe's, but it was an epic fail. They put too much clovers in it. It felt like I was eating dirt. I was like, I can't eat this. I don't know. It was such a strong flavor of clover that it was unpalatable. <laughs> Let's just say the least. It was disgusting. I was so upset. Because picture this. It, was, it wasn't even pumpkin spice. It was pumpkin oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. How do you ruin that? Oh, yes, they did. It was disgusting. I mean, but other than that, other pumpkin spice things be delicious, I guess. Okay. They have really good pumpkin pancakes mix. That's really good. Okay. Maybe I have to try that one. Oh, it's so good. And, I, and sometimes I get like the canned pumpkin and I'll put a scoop of canned pumpkin in the batter. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> With some eggs and some maple syrup. Delicious. Delicious. That's the way to go. Mm -hmm. Don't try that cookie though. Mm -mm. Run far to the left. Now, today's topic is that you mentioned October. What books are we planning on reading in October? Because we always have a list of desired reads for the next month. We sure do. So for me, like one of the books that I'm most looking forward to reading to in October is um is a Tiffany Patterson book. It's called uh well, it's going to be called. All of Me by Tiffany Patterson. Mm -hmm. And it's the Townsend of, of, Townsend's of Texas. Oh, they got another book? Oh, heck yeah. Yes, the first book in the series was called For You. And so in, in this book, it's going to be the singer who was presented in the first book. It's going to be her book. Mm -hmm. and her name is Lena and Gabriel. So Lena is a singer. And she she's a part of a record company that her ex fiance is like a big deal in the company, and she has one last album before she can be done with this record label. Mm -hmm. And so she really like wanting to finish it up and wrap it up, so she doesn't have to have anything to do with him because he's like supposedly going to be like this sleaze wall character. Mm -hmm. But you know she has writer's block, so he, here she needs to write her last album, but. She has no inspiration. Mm -hmm. So she's going to be going to uh, the wedding of her former publisher, who was the main character in the first book. That first book was really good. If you have not read For You by Tiffany Patterson, definitely check it out. So she's going to go to her wedding, and she's going to meet Gabriel, who is, <coughs> excuse me, the brother of the, the hero in the mm -hmm. first book. So I'm definitely looking forward to reading that and seeing the old characters and how they turned out. And I'm wondering if this one is going to be like a big mystery like that first one was. Mm -hmm. I love that first Townsend series. Mm -hmm. first look in this series really gave you like a mystery romance feel when they were trying to figure out who killed her grandpa. So I'm wondering what type of shenanigans is going to go into this book that they're going to have to solve. Because there's always some shenanigans and, it's, and there's always either a man who wants the, he the heroine or an ex that just can't get the, can't get the message. So I, I definitely cannot wait for this book to come out. Of a Tiffany Patterson book, and I also loved the first Townsend series. I remember when I discovered it, and I threw it your way. It yeah. was best thing ever. So my first book of this ooh, December, who I'm pushing the year to be done. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. <laughs> my first book of October is Diablo Lake Awakened by Lauren Dane. So I haven't read a Lauren Dane book in a minute, but I love some Lauren Dane. And this particular one talks about Diablo Lake, Tennessee. And it is a town founded by witches, governed by werewolves and brimming full of secrets. So I know nothing about this world, but I'm super excited. This is the third book in this world. So we have a Ruby Thorn who um, 
just opened a health clinic that she's been planning for the last six years. You know, she has a, a pretty deep connection to the town. She has a sense of rightness. She's a witch. And, um, you know, everything is exactly what it's supposed to be. Things are going great. Um, but obviously when he and they italicize the he comes back into her path, you know, it's just like he's meant to. So you have Damon, who is the, the male lead. And he spent the last, you know, few years learning how to run the pack at his older brother's right hand. Then there'd been some upheaval, some outrage, some violence. Old rules have created a silence so crushing that the fabric of, you know, collapsed the fabric of not just the wolf shifters, but the town as a whole. And now that Ruby is back with her clinic, you know, he's like, well, is about to go down because obviously with everything happening in his world, he's feeling like she'll, you know, roll through to help stabilize back his life and to fill that open hole that has been since she left. Yeah, that sounds interesting. I am a fan of Lauren Dane also. Mm -hmm. So I definitely might check this one out too. I mean, you can't beat it. It's a Harlequin too. So, you know, the price is nice. Okay. Harlequin has been keeping their prices very reasonable. $4.99, I can handle that. Not these $15.99 for ebook. Losing their minds. Yes, yes, they are. <laughs> no, you not. Now, you, you ain't charging me hardcover prices for no ebook. No, you not. So what's your next next book, Kitty? So my next book is Nanny for the Seals by Cassie Cole. And it looks like it's going to be a steamy one. So this girl, she like the main character. She is going to be sneaking into like a, one of those private uh, boxes at, uh, an, is it a, sorry, like is it an NHL? At a Lakers game. She's mm -hmm. trying to one of the private boxes at the Lakers game and lo and behold it's already occupied by these three Navy SEALs. Ooh. Yes, three former Navy SEALs and some kind of way like each of these SEALs, like they each have a baby of their own, like a young, young baby. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. Is she ending up with one of them, three of them, two of them? going to end up with all of them. And they babies. And they babies. So they take her on somehow, you know, it doesn't say in the summary how she ends up to becoming their nanny for their three babies and also ends up dating these three guys at the same story. And apparently these kids are bad. Like they are having trouble. <laughs> They're having trouble finding someone who can deal with these three bad children. <laughs> And so, you know, here she arrives to assist. <clears throat> and she's got to be assisting in the playroom and in the bedroom. So, in the playroom and the playroom. <laughs> yes. So she's going to be quite busy with these three kids during the daytime and these three seals at nighttime. So I can't wait to see what this is going to look like. That sounds like it's going to be very, very interesting. So my next book is an author that I've read before, but it's been a while. So I've been revisiting a lot of some of the older books that I've read. So this is Sealed with a Kiss. It's part of the Boys of the Bayou Gone Wild book four by Erin Nichols. And now this particular book is actually really cute. So what happens when a girl, what's a girl to do when faced with hurricane, her celebrity crush? and a power outage, power outage in their shelter. Now, what, what it says is she was supposed to keep her damn feelings to herself and her panties on, but that's obviously not what her. So we have um, Naomi, who's a small town girl who likes her quiet, simple life. And then she meets Donovan, who is a sexy, charming, wildlife rescue internet sensation who loves the spotlight, right? So, you know, that opposites attract, chemistry, they're stuck together during a storm and well, you know, shenanigans ensue. So, but the aftermath of the storm gives them something else in common, a rescue mission to help victims. And so 
they have a heat of the moment kiss that is caught by the local paparazzi. And next thing you know, they're being offered a reality TV show documenting them falling in love while saving animals from crazy, dangerous situations. So obviously that escalated really quickly. So, you know, now you have this person who loves the quiet life and this person who, you know, is in the spotlight, as they say. So it's definitely interesting to see, obviously, as we know, she's probably going to, you know, take it. But what happens when he leaves? You know, he's only here for two months. So I'm definitely interested in seeing, in, in seeing, I wish I could see it because it sounds like it'd be a great Hallmark movie, but I'm definitely interested in reading it for sure. What about you, Kitty? Okay, for my last book, and this is going to be a shocker, I have made it through a monthly to-be-read list with no MC romance novels. So my last book for that I am looking forward to reading for next month, and of course, we definitely read more than these lists, but, you know, the focus, like, this is definitely one of my main priority to me, mm-hmm. is Protector Bear by Roxy Ray. Ooh, a shifter? Yes, it's a shifter book. It's been a minute for you. A whole minute. And so in this book, the, the lady, her name is, she, um, I'm sorry, it actually doesn't list the name in the description for her. But, okay, he's a bear shifter, as you can see by the name. So the lady moves to this new town to start over a new life. She's, like, left her husband, who doesn't sound like he's going to be, like, good news at all. She's left her husband. She's looking to start over. And lo and behold, the ex-husband shows up on her doorstep. And apparently he has somebody that's close to her that she doesn't know who that has been like reporting back to him about, you know, what she's been doing. Interesting. Keeping tabs on her. So. Docker much? Yes. So Hutch, the hero in the book, he's a bear shifter with a playboy streak. So she wants nothing to do with him because, you know, she kind of thinks he's a bit whorish. <laughs> determined to help her with her ex situation and protect her but she's like oh I don't need your protection and leave me alone but eventually she's going to need his help in the book <coughs> excuse me eventually she's going to need his help in the book especially when the ex-husband like tends to escalate his behavior towards her and becomes even more of a nuisance so mm-hmm. he's like help help her with that and like help heal her damaged heart. So I'm looking forward to that because it has been a very long time since I've read a brand new shifter book. This is true. Well, my last book is also, I'm sorry, go ahead. Especially one that's not a wolf. You know, as you mentioned, my last book is a wolf shifter book. It's (laughs) called Dusk Bitten City Wolves 2 by Millie um, Taden. I want to say her name is T-A-I-D-E-N, Tayden. I've read quite a few of her books, actually, over the years. She's a very prolific author, and I am here for it. She's also Kindle Unlimited for anyone who is interested. So we have Wolf Shifter and Loner Navy. Yes, his name is Navy. And you know what? It's something sexy about a man named Navy. I don't know. (laughs) But it is. It sounds real sexy. You're like, Navy, Amana. Yes. Okay. So, you know, he's a lo- he's a loner, doesn't want much out of life, a few good books and a quiet place to read to his heart's content, you know, but when his family sends him on business to San Diego, Navy isn't pleased, but a chance meeting with his dream woman changes everything. And then we have Karina. Karina sounds sassy. So Karina is furious that her father is selling their family business. So she seeks solstice, solstice soulless in her um in her beloved bookstore only to meet the most intriguing man ever so after an incredible day and night with navy her luck seems to change for the better but of course things aren't this simple so we have navy and karina might be faded mates but their connection is severed by misunderstandings and family jealousy so someone is out to stop their happy ending before it can even begin so i'm definitely interested in seeing who, what, where, when, why, and how? Because somebody's up to some things. Yeah, I love that she's a bookstore owner. Mm-hmm. I know. Wait, no, 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 no. It's her um in her beloved bookstore. It doesn't uh, necessarily say it's her bookstore. It could be, 
but she loves that bookstore. Okay. Is the key. Mm-hmm. Got it. But I do okay. love it when there's a, their bookstore owner. Yeah. So kind of like the first Rock Chick book. Yeah. <laughs> Affordance. <laughs> Coffee in the books. Coffee in the books. And don't forget, you know, a cookie or a brownie or something. I do not have time to fall back down the Rock Chick circle. <laughs> There's so many books. None of us do. None of us do at all. Well, Well, thank you. We have a pretty good list for October. Mm -hmm. Plus, you know, I'm sure that will grow before by the end of the month it's gone. So, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. Me too. Definitely looking forward to it. Like all three of the books that I listed, I've never read any books by those authors before. Mm -hmm. So that should be exciting. Mine are all old authors but new series okay so it's been a while it's been a while since i've read any of these authors so there is be fresh in my mind again for sure so tell us have you read any of the authors that we listed in today's list and if so what do you think about them and what are your favorite books about them also are you exploring any new authors this month or next month if so Tell us what the name of those authors are and what the book is and how you've enjoyed them so far. Yeah, and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share our videos. We're definitely trying to expand our uh, viewer base. And expand what we're reading, too. Yeah. So you can definitely help us out with that. For sure. So thank you. You guys have a good day, and we'll see you later. Stay blessed.